Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be reorganizing my planner. I have been getting a little bored with my setup and I wanted to add more detail to my planner. So that's what we're going to be doing today. The first thing that I changed was my cover. I switched over to the black deluxe cover from Happy Planner. And as you can see, I still have my black pen and my red pen on both sides of the planner so that I can keep it and store it with me at all times. The next thing that I did is write out the areas in which I wanted to plan my life. So as you can see, these are 10 areas of different things that I want to make sure are included in my planning system. So as I set everything up, I'm just going to check each one off to make sure that I cover all 10 of these areas. The first section is going to be my boho, which is my notes section. So in order to cover that in the very front of my planner, I will have line pages, as you can see here, and I will also have dot grid pages. So then that way I can cover any notes that I need to write out throughout the course of the day. Next will be a folder to catch anything that I need to throw in there. I usually just keep functional stickers there. And then the very first planner is my hourly planner, which is my holy grail. It's not going anywhere anytime soon. And I mainly use this to map out my entire schedule for the day. In addition to having my schedule in this particular planner, I am also going to do a half sheet for my to-dos and an expense tracker to keep track of all of the things that I spend my money on throughout the course of the week. I still have my budget planner and that is not going anywhere but I just wanted something that I would always have on me to be able to jot down expenses as they happen. So I'm just checking off the different things that I have currently added to this planner and now I'm going to move on to the business section and that is going to be its own separate planner. Whenever I am planning for business, I have realized that vertical style planning works the best for me. Um, and that's usually because I like to write down a whole bunch of different lists of different things that I need to do as far as for clients or for my Etsy shop or for my YouTube channel. List style kind of works best for me, especially if I separate it by morning, noon, and night. So I am going to be putting in a vertical planner into this section right here to plan out different things that I need for my business and for my social media content. Now I usually switch back and forth on having a business planner versus not having a business planner and that's mainly because sometimes I do like to keep it simple and keep everything in one spot but lately I have been feeling a little bit all over the place when it comes to my business and I believe that is because I don't have all of the details written down so I don't feel like I'm getting as much accomplished. So I'm adding three months of my business planner in this section and this will help me stay on top of all of the details of the different things that I need to do for business. The other thing that I did was purchase these Get Social inserts from Michaels and I believe these will help me as far as my social media content, the content that I need to post to YouTube, to Instagram, the content that I need to get out for my blog. Um, a lot of times I will post something in one place and not realize that I didn't post it in another. So I think that this will definitely help me as far as making sure my content is getting um, out across the board across all of the different platforms that I have. So I've added a bunch of the sheets in the very front of the planner and then I'm going to pull out one of the sheets and put it on the week that I am currently planning. So as I do complete different content, complete different things, I am going to write it on this sheet and check it off and keep track of everything that I post. The other thing that I love is this check it off sheet on the back. Um, it makes sure that you stand on top of reading and replying to comments and checking your DMs. And that is something that I do forget often. So I'm really excited about having this section in my planner. 
So now that I have added the business planner, I'm going to pull back out my sheet and see what I want to do next. Um, I already added the content sheet and this is my work planner that I'm looking at now. And I really was trying to figure out if I was going to add my faith planner back into this planner and my reading planner back into here. And um, ultimately I decided against it. I decided to make the work planner my last planner in here to make a home and family section in here because I did not want this to get too bulky and I felt like it was going to be a little too bulky and a little too difficult for me to carry around. And when I think about when I use my faith planner and my reading planner, it is mostly when I am at home in my office when I'm doing some type of review or any type of reading. So I realized that I really didn't need it to be in this planner. It can be completely separate and I'll use it when I am at home. So the next thing that I'm going to do is add my dividers. I do like to divide up my sections so that I can easily flip to them and see them when I am looking at the very top of my planner. So I'm adding these labels. I'm using my P-Touch Brother label maker in order to add them to the top of my planner. If you want to see the exact um, label maker that I'm using, you could check out the description box. I will have it there. But my sections are my notes section and then will be my scheduled section. And then is my business planner and then will be my work planner. So this is just so that I can like glance at the very top and I'm going to put each section right before the month that I am currently working on. I think there will only be one other thing that I'm going to add and that will be a home section which will just be a list of all the different things that I need to do for my home but it's not going to be a full planner it's just going to be a section within my notes section. And that will be it. So I'm just showing y'all real quick how everything looks as it is closed. And I am loving it. It's not too bulky. And I think it's going to be my perfect setup, at least for the next few months, until I get bored and decide to change again. Until next time, guys, keep organizing your life so that you can achieve your dreams. Bye, guys.